Welcome to That's What We're Talking About. Uh, I'm here to interview Miss Maya Banks for her, her the third book in her Burn trilogy. How are you today, Miss Maya? I'm good. Good. Um, first, I would like to say thank you so much for uh, writing such a fabulous trilogy. Um, I've really enjoyed the first two books, and I'm three quarters of the way through the third one, and I'm oh, so awesome. excited to finally read Ash's story. Oh, good. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I'm definitely enjoying it. So, um, since I've been reading a lot of the contemporary trilogy type things for our blog, um, I've um, it seems like it's a kind of a trend in romance lately. What do you think about that? Um, actually, you know, it's not really a new trend. I would it's say not. maybe the only newish part about it is that there are a lot more trilogies that have the same main couple now. That's that's kind of a trend I'm seeing. I mean, not that there haven't been those books in the past, but maybe there haven't been as many. But trilogies, uh, oh my gosh, the, you know, authors have been writing trilogies. Nora Roberts has, you know, a thousand of them. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, romance authors have been writing trilogies forever. But um, recently, especially in erotic romance, you know, it more and more you're seeing trilogies that and series that involve the same hero and heroine and I think maybe that's kind of a newer trend um, as far as is the kind of trilogy you're talking about um, mm -hmm. like I said not that there haven't been series that focus on the same you know characters you know look at JD Robb you know mm -hmm. her her you know series has been around forever you know, even Rourke, you know, have been around forever. Um, you know, there's several other authors who have written, you know, a series using the same two main characters. But in recent years, you know, it, it's, we've seen a lot more of it in the trilogy setting where you have that same couple span a three story arc, you know, instead of it just being one book. Right, okay, thank you so much. Um, so with the, um the trend in, uh, for, for me, it's a trend anyway. Um, I like to see the big, huge story arc play out across the three books. And could you give us just a little bit more information about how you came up with The Breathless World for, uh, or for our readers? Um, well, you know, I took elements from my sweet series, um, uh -huh. which is, you know, an erotic romance series that started publishing, you know, back in 2006. Um, and I, so I took elements from that series because I loved that series and I took elements from my Harlequin Desires which I also love but they're much shorter concise books and they're not as highly eroticized as you know the sweet series but you know I, I love both kinds of books so I took my favorite elements and tropes from both kinds of books and I kind of married them together and the result was the Breathless Trilogy. So it's, it's basically, I kind of explain it as if I was writing a much longer, more highly eroticized Harlequin Desire is basically what, the breath, you know, what, what became the Breathless Trilogy. Excellent, excellent. I like that explanation because it takes your own background and it brings it into what you're currently doing. Yes. So that's very cool. Um, and the final question I have for you today is tell us about what you have coming for us. Yes, I have a new trilogy that will be releasing in 2014. It's called the Surrender Trilogy. And um, tune in to my website and particularly Facebook the week of August 19th. I will be posting covers and blurbs um, for that new trilogy. It's going to release in a similar publication um, path that the Breathless Trilogy did. Um, it'll, it will, the first book will be out next February, so readers don't have a long wait, you know, for the next trilogy. And the second book will be out in May, and then the third will be out in August, just like Burn, you know, was out this August. But, you know, like I said, uh, the week of August 19th, I will have the final covers and the final blurbs, and I will be posting those, you know, on my website, Facebook, I'll be tweeting them, so, you know, readers can definitely they don't have long to wait to see what's coming next. Great, and I like the fact that it's like the short span for all three to release. Yes, yes. Because I'm an impatient reader. Yes, me too. <laughs> I do not like waiting a long time between books in a series. 
Well, Maya, thank you so much for stopping by. Let's, that's what I'm talking about and uh, spending a few minutes talking with us about what you have going on right now. Oh, no I problem. It was time. my pleasure. Thank you.